Just for like practice purposes, I just want to hear you like. Of hippie? Yeah, just do a chorus and then when you, we all come in, pretend like it was the start. I just want to hear you and kind of your natural flow and then okay. adapt to you. <laughs>
better tempo. Yeah. I'm it's not trying to say, I'm not, that's not like a songwriting part of me means, I just want to feel it. Oh, no, totally. No. For me, it's like a weird song. It's kind no, of feel like I'm in between three or four. And yeah. I know that sometimes, I know that some of my beats are like, like it feels right. And I'm like, it's like I'm catching the, the wave. It's like yeah. I'm catching the wave right. But other times, I feel like I'm catching it inverse or something. Or, you know, like, yeah. I can't quite tell sometimes that I get taken in from I'm right or not, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never, I'm, yeah, I've never really, like, I don't know. I, I, I think it's been good. I just think like when yeah. we played your song, Chris song, I know I know the beats. In the parts yeah. I'm a little sloppy, I know exactly. But this one, it's like I know them, but like I'm a little like it's, it's like, more of like a fluid I'm, song. It's yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I'm, we're close. I mean, I, I think I'm like, I think I'm you know, I th I'm, I'm pretty. I think I'm not I'm not like dumb or anything. I just, you know, talking about that. Yeah, no, I think it's good. Let's uh, let's try um, mix it. I just think it's like this. Yeah. 
I just thought that like that lead line that I play over it, I I don't think that it's wrong, but I think that it's Which part? lacking. It's it's that like I don't know if like what I'm playing is working or if I should play something totally different or if I should not play. I just, like, when I hear that part, I think it needs a lead line, but nothing flashy. It just needs something to like reinforce yeah, the, the melodic playing. moving. I think you movement. should it. I think what you're doing no, I don't is, have it. I think what you're doing is working and I think it's enhancing the riff. But I think if you think it's lacking and you think there's, that you can do better, I, I just, think you can. I think that there's room for improvement. I, I just, I just don't know what to play because I've been thinking about it and I've been messing around with it. It'll like, come home. to you. It'll come to you. Just I, be open to it. I just, uh, I would, I was just curious if you guys had any input because I, like, I, I just. That's the least exciting. That's like the least exciting part of the song, given that it's supposed to be the climax. Yeah, yeah, and and like, it's awesome. I love it, and I want to see. It's not a bad riff at all. I want to see harmonies good, along with it, and like, I want to keep. So I want to keep the the melody simple. On it's the weird because like, on the beat, like on the drum beat, I feel like I'm supposed to spread out, you know. <laughs> So that's but, like, what's cool about the rest of the song is that it is a syncopated. The chorus, the, 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 um... So the chorus seems like it's supposed to be like... So, so, so the way, the way it's going right now is I play with you on the... Uh, First half, yeah. So when I was listening with the, the song, I ended up going to Tom's and you come in with this like right when I started going into it. And it kind of sounds 
sounded cool how it was like kind of just like Devo y kind of like. You know what? But is that, are you playing that during that part? You know what? The, I, the first part, I start the first, here's my drum beat, here's what I've been playing. From that like. come in with that thing and okay. it's cool because it kind of like I think that like you don't need to change your part but maybe that we just need to be like kind of I like think like the vibe is like because when you come in with that line it kind of sounds like nervous energy kind of punk rock and before then I'm thinking like Weezer blue record you know it's like full yeah. and just like big love and then when I start doing this I'm just thinking like Monzy, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. And it's cool, and it feels right. I and mean, we did that kind of naturally, like, with Jam was the first time we did it. So I kind of like emphasizing that because I thought the part before then was like, when we do that kind of Weezery part, that's, to me, it's supposed to be the climax of the song. And that's the part that I feel is the most delicate right now. You know? Yeah, and, yeah, totally. Um, yeah. Like, like, it sounds good. It has all like the standards of a pop hook, but the parts around it are really strong, you know? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I'm just throwing this out there for you guys. I think maybe we can just keep on doing the same thing, and if we can tell them like this, we'll just the, yeah, the, the, I, I the, mean, we'll just I it'll like, tap naturally, you know. I like where we're going. I think we just need to finish the the roadmap with it, and then we'll just tighten up little parts. But I think the parts are good. I you want to try it again with this stuff in mind, then just like not, not yeah, really worry yeah, about. Yeah, I just think like I'm just curious because like I think I think if I would like to, I'm I'm gonna try to work on a harmony for that part yeah because I think that'll help that a lot and the then vocal I can, yeah yeah you guys should double sing because you guys both can sing well and you guys both really distinct voices and it'd be cool to hear you guys sing and sing against each other yeah like yeah. you know you can like you can sing a halftime part and you can sing a double time yeah. part you know tell me what do you really want me to yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm totally, I'm totally guys, down with that like, stuff. I just think that, that would definitely be something that, that, that we'd have to What the new factory recording told me is that, like, you guys sounded way better. Like, I could hear you guys. Both you guys sounded great. I could hear the word. I can hear your words clearly. I was like, wow, the words for your song are cool. You know, I could hear all your words. Like, my dad's always like, can I hear your words, son? Yeah. But, like, both you guys, and both you guys sounded better when I can hear you, you know? Yeah. And I think that y'all would, your, the music would be dynamic to hear y'all intermingle. The way you intermingle your guitars, it'd be cool to hear you intermingle your voices that way too. Yeah, even yeah. if you're just doing humming, like cause you got, even if you're doing like, harmonizing with your guitar, right? Because sometimes when you harmonize with your guitar, it sounds like an instrument. It's like everyone's like, "What the fuck is that?" Totally, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. if you harmonize with the guitar, even yeah, if you're a little yeah. off, it sounds I would, cool, I would love, you know? to, I'd love to do more it's of that like, stuff. I, I think like, and I also think you guys should experiment with singing with like a reverb pedal or a delay pedal. Because I think if you, when people write songs with the effect in mind, and not do it in post, like post, but like when you're like writing a riff, and then you kick on a chorus, and you click on your like chorus, like your reverb for your vocals, right, right. all of a sudden you're like, you're like built differently. You'll find well, yourself, you'll yeah. find yourself singing differently when you hear yourself with the effect yeah. at the time. So I think that you guys should probably, both you guys should, you know, maybe I can bring my delay or, or echo, but you guys could just like, experiment with it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it. I definitely, yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like if we start going into, like, vocal effects, pedals and stuff, like, it, it's, it's usually better than simple. Like, it's just like, you know, next like, level like that band level. you, like, Gaslight Anthem, I listened to a bunch of those yeah. songs the other day, and, like, that guy totally sings with the echo. Like, oh, yeah. He, he's got that slap back, that, uh, uh, you know, the John Lennon, like, yeah. Imagine, you know? Right. And that shit's really cool but when you write the song with it, you know? Right. It never yeah. sounds cool when you do it in post. You're like, oh, God, I gotta do it. You know, like, it sounds right. off because you totally. didn't sing it like No, no, I... I but when you sing totally with the... When you sing with well, an effect, I watched, you sing I watched... Uh, we have... 1048 so we oh yeah maybe so we want to let's try to jam on two more songs we, we want to record I was, I was just gonna say one one more thing on this same line is like I watched I don't know if you ever watched them but I think it was premier guitar does these YouTube uh, videos that are called rig rundowns and they'll basically they'll a guy will go from that magazine will go and to a show and somehow they get to 
talk to the artist or maybe it's just the tech guy, but they'll run them through like their whole like rig setup. So they'll, yeah. they'll run them through their amps, their guitars, and their pedals. And the one for, for Death Cab for Cutie, um, I thought was really interesting because he actually gets Ben Gibbard and he talks with him through his pedal setup. And he has, he has sort of this like cove of pedals where it's like left is guitar, right is vocals. And he was just kind of like talking about how like, there's some songs like off newer records that like, it's absolutely necessary for him to kick in vocal effects at specific times. And like, if you don't have a guy, if you, if you can't afford, which, which most people can't, if you can't afford to like hire a guy to turn that on, the right moment, the, the local sound guy is not going to be able to do no. that. So you got to keep it simple, stupid. So you got to yeah, keep yeah, it that's... simple. Uh -huh. and, yeah, and, and just like, so he has like a setup on his right that's like, these are vocals and these are guitars. And like, obviously, you know, they've been around long enough that they have that, you know, type of I mean, shit. I, I, but I thought it was interesting and that's cool that you say that because like, I would love to implement stuff like that. You should, because when you start doing that, all of a sudden you get inspired and you write cool shit. You, and you know how it goes. Like, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can write everything now. And the songs are themselves because you did something, you played a new guitar. You played your best friend's guitar that's like, always oh, in tune and it sounds perfect. You know? Yeah. It's like, well, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, like, if you have, like, say, yeah, you're, you're running a house amp, but, like, you have your pedals, so you know that your distortion is always going to sound that good. So, like, it's something to look into. It's not super expensive. Like, you can find some
I think we should be, I think we should be open to the flow of writing like Todd Segal. Do you know him? No. Mm -hmm. The guy puts out like four records a year. I know I think that name. A, How do I know that name? Because he's awesome. You probably heard him. He basically all I'm saying is like we're kind of in flow right now. We're writing songs pretty easily. You don't limit yourselves. I think recording a three song batch is a great idea. Yeah. I think we should or four song batches. But I think like I feel like we could probably just fart out a bunch of songs if we keep being open. Well, I mean, yeah. like the thing is, like honestly, so, sometimes like, the best songs come out the fastest. We already have an album's worth to record. Yeah, we're writing like a new song every rehearsal almost. Yeah, I think you can capitalize on this. I mean, the, the thing, like, like Sean, you've always been a prolific writer. Um, I'm just saying, be, I'm just saying, being open. I'm just saying, be open to like fucking like just just putting out tons of stuff. If yeah, dude, I just I, don't know. It's just like, something to say about energy, riding a wave of a tidal wave. Sometimes you can just like, I'm excited, you know. Yeah. If we record, all I can promise you guys, I'll be ready to fucking roll. You know, I'll be yeah. ready to get it down in one as many as few takes as possible. Fuck it. 
Yeah, know? why not? Why not? Like, and then, you know, or it better. Sometimes it's cooler when the shit's a little sloppier. Like, well, that's, see, that's it's like, exciting, you know? That's why, like, you I was, think like, too hard about the lyrics. Just write it from the heart, you know? I'm totally down with, like, this EP idea. I think it makes sense in a lot of reasons. Like, for a lot for of reasons. Writing for records are a long time to wait. It's a lot to do. But we can crank out these three or four new but, songs you guys have. It's exciting right now. We could crank them out. We'd be excited. It would, oh. it would keep things going, you know? Yeah, People and, like then, watching and us. then get started just working on some new songs. All those, like, things like those good photos of us on that Facebook wall. Yeah, yeah. I went to Brooklyn Winery the other night, and people were like, are like, oh, hey, yeah, you're, you're, they're like, all like, you're, a, you're, how's your band? What's your band up to? And I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And like, I mean, I know, I know that's there, but like, yeah. everybody was talking to me about it. And they're like, like, people I'd never met yeah. before, they were like, they were like, yeah. oh, I saw pictures and shit. And now I was like, yeah, it was the like, case. Hey, and yeah. they're like telling me about them, and I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's, but it's, like people are like, like, I mean, you know, and the features look exciting and stuff, and it's just like, there's, I'm just saying, you know, these, all these little small things matter in these people's heads, and it matters in our heads too, really, you know. Oh, it's kind yeah. of a, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what my buddy, like my my guy, we started songs, and he was like, he's like, God, dude, your new band's playing Knitting Factory. You all fucking what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because like, like yeah. the pictures look like, like it's something about well, it. Well, that's it the looks thing. Official. Is, like, is it looks real? It looks really official, and then we sound the song. Sounds the song really is good. the song sound good too. Like I mean, I sent to my I sent to my friends, and they were like, whoa. Dude. Yeah, you know, like the guy, like you know, my peers, my peers would be competitive, didn't say much, and my peers who like are just like are all just praise said gave praise, you know, it's like yeah, no, I I felt the same way, and it's funny, and like it's amazing how big a difference it makes just having proper photos done. It sends a message to and someone. don't and also weed it out everything else. Like don't ever don't put out anything last night because now you oh now that. it's got oh yeah now you the know. only things. Well, it's the same thing as the venues we play. It's the photos that we put out yeah. and the venues we play all have to be as professional, as top-notch as possible. Or just as cool, or just cool, or just street. Just crap. really cool, cool. Really you know, the, cool. I mean, I think playing a fucking basement, playing like ABC in the rear would be fucking awesome. Or playing some fucking punk house would be cool as fuck. Oh, it's if just it's gotta cool be, it's show, just you know? gotta... But just yeah. not like desperate, you know, paying like Arlene's grocery, like, you know, six to ten, like... Right. You know, I think we're on the same page, yeah. Right, right. I think that, but I think that's cool is that, like, you know, what's cool about Facebook, what's fun and cool about uh, social media is the way to engage the fans. And you want to prolong it as much as possible. That is, like, you don't want to, like, jack off all at once, you know? Right. So you, like, if you have songs and, or, you know, sometimes you, you, you can release that shit, like, sequentially or whatever. Or yeah. You can ride that wave or... The people, the people that I've encountered who's going to know about us, all the people at Book and Winery are fucking stoked. Yeah, it's they're cool. Like, they're like excited about this shit. So. Yeah, it's no, fun, you know. It's, I think it's fun really cool, and so. it's super cool. And that's the thing that I noticed. Like my mom, I was telling Chris, my mom was like, you know, met. She's friends with uh, one of my high school girlfriends' parents, and and even they, even they were like, oh, we see like Sean's still doing all this stuff, and we see these photos. It seems like they're really doing well. And like even people that I don't really talk to. You post this stuff and you don't know who sees it and then you all know. of a sudden everybody's like oh and if it all looks good that's your narrative you know what i mean it's like your narrative what you put out there and like these days like yeah you, know, you can't really take it back yeah so it's yeah make everybody every if everything looks as